all right dear guys and uh, girls here and there because there are not too many girls i'm sure most of the people that are, want to be character artists are guys and there are a few girls who wants to be most of them wants to be um just concept artists yeah and how i know that because i teach here in the academy in bulgaria which is academy for game art okay i, I just yeah and i see what parts of people are girls what parts are you know boys and mostly boys here and there few girls and very very few of those girls want to be a character artist 3d character artist which is uh, it's okay i mean less uh, competition for me <laughs> yeah no, i'm joking of course uh, but yeah probably these days with uh, this girl that i was talking about aram Tolkan, Tor Torkan. I'm not sure how her name is pronounced. I'm sure I'm almost sure I'm butchering it a lot, but it's fine. Butchering the name, yeah, it's fine. She will forgive me probably or not. I'm not sure. But with her, maybe more and more girls will kind of get the idea and uh, get the spark that they could be something more than just an artist. You can be a 3D artist or even something even more 3d character artist wow and uh, while we are on this subject let me tell you uh let's go again uh, how i read apologize here in in blender uh just to speak of something uh, i will leave by the way this and uh, no more teeth here i will continue on this so i'm i have uh turned on this snap function with face and then all those on and all those on here move scale uh, rotate and those on and uh, yeah i have just a kind of a plane close to the surface and then start to just move it extrude some edges not the vertices edges in edit mode and this is how i do it basically it's pretty easy and of course i have this option here in the viewport display in front on because without it it will be difficult sometimes you have to turn it off just to see where you're going but most of the time i keep it on and in the beginning don't expect yourself to be pretty good in retopology but uh, with some practice and mistakes it's very important to make mistakes it's very important to learn from your mistakes of course and that's it so did i mention that i i have jumped with parachute by the way yeah when i was i think i was 11th grade and a guy come came to our class and he was from the military and he told us that we can go and jump with parachutes and, I, and we was we were wow what but not we i and uh, one of my friends only we were wow the other guys were not not impressed so uh we went and uh, it was i think it was winter and we started to have some theoretical classes uh, we were writing about the parachutes what are they, what's uh, happening here and there. And it was boring. And uh, I was like, huh, is this the jumping with parachutes? And whatever, I have forgotten about this by the, by the spring, but suddenly I got a phone call and they say, come to the airport. There was a little airport in my town. Come there tomorrow morning for training. For practice training and I was like oh, really and we go there and it was really practicing uh, how to fold the parachutes how to jump from two meters high and uh, roll and stuff like this it was nice and I think 
there was there was a week of trainings just training and then we started the jumpings the real jumpings and they told us okay tomorrow come uh, in the morning and we will jump and i was like excuse me yeah i went there to do it yes but uh you know how uh, sometimes you think that this is just a game but it wasn't and it was kind of a cold spring morning sunny but cold and we went there we put on our uh kind of a uh, clothes we have this uh, military style clothes they gave us and we put them on we put on the parachutes and we went to the plane and we just you know took off and then I, we was we were in the air and I was like, what's happening? Am I gonna really jump from this high? And it was huge. I mean, it was 1000 meters or even more. I mean, it, it was like very high. And of course, everything above, let's say five meters is kind of deadly. <laughs> but 1000 meters is another thing. I mean, you will fall for a lot of seconds before you hit the ground even without a parachute and with parachute you will fall uh maybe two minutes or something i'm not sure but whatever uh i had to jump first since i was the tallest and i told you i'm one meter and 93 centimeters and yeah as a taller guy i had to be first and to be first is the worst first 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 the worst uh, and yeah, I was first and uh, it was so scary. I mean, this was the, when I went out of the door of the plane and it was old plane with two wings like this and with a thing in the front, I was like this, my, my eye was big and I was, because below me, there was wind, you know, the, the, the airplane is uh, driving with 150 kilometers or something an hour it's not too much for a plane but that's why it has uh, two sets of wings so because it's slow and it's exactly for parachutes jumpings and i was like and the wind and i'm like and uh the trainer he just said go jump and i'm like ah. and i jumped and i start falling and suddenly, it, the, the free fall, when you are with this kind of parachute, which opens from the plane, there is a, a very, very strong rope, a metal rope, uh, no, it's not metal, it's very strong rope, which is attached to a metal line inside the plane. And this very strong rope is pulling with two strings, one longer and one shorter. They are like shoe shoelaces. And they, they snap at some point. They... They pull out your parachute and then they snap. If they don't snap, you will stay behind the plane and just do this. It will be bad. But they snap uh, every time. And uh, then your parachute is open and you are uh, amazing. And I jumped. And after like 60 meters free fall, which is like a few seconds, three seconds or even less, the parachute opens. Those seconds were like a uh, eternity but when the parachute opens all this fear and adrenaline changes suddenly to some euphoria excitement and uh, suddenly from the the most fearsome moment of my life it becomes one of my uh, greatest moments you know and that's why people like to jump with parachutes you know and uh, with, with bungee because of this feeling of uh, mortal danger and then uh, amazing uh, kind of fun and joy yeah very cool cool moments of uh, someone's life i may say press j and then i jumped uh, nine more times i'm not eight more times yeah and it was fun it was pretty much a lot of fun i will put by the way, a little bit of a cut in here, probably to here. 
because you know I noticed that this is not exactly what I want. I know now it's fine. Now it's fine. Here we can have a little bit of an issue. But probably I will inflate this later. Now, this is okay. We have the teeth. Now I will make the eyes. How to make the eyes? I'll press Shift A and uh, add a UV sphere. Then I will find it and I will move it up with G. I will move it. Of course, we have to disable the snap because otherwise we'll have some issues. Now, this sphere will not do. So I will delete it. I will first go to object mode and delete it. So I will create a sphere now, UV sphere. And then from here, I will dial down the segments and those segments and those segments until we have something more relaxed, F9. And we'll have again this menu with the segments. Let's try with 16 by 10. Why not? Yeah, it could be, it could be fine. Probably it's too much again, but whatever. Uh, let's try with that. So I will press G, put it here, press S to scale it down, scale it down, scale it down, scale it down. And then we put it in the place of the eye. And manually, although <coughs> there could be a way, I'm a little sick, but uh, nothing too much for now, at least. Uh, there could be a way to uh, exactly match them, and I'm sure there is. But since I'm not exactly familiar with it, I will go with just uh, manual putting it into position. It's pretty interesting because this should be a real ball, but it, it looks like it's not. Let me... By the way, I can do this. Uh, I can go to this sphere add a shrink wrap modifier and click on this surface and it should shrink wrap it around the surface and then I will apply it. And then we have the sphere. Of course, the sphere itself, I will inflate it like this. Yes. And also I will delete the back part of it. By the way, first, first, this sphere is 300 of oh, it's a lot but i will uh, rotate it first on the x-axis so r to rotate x and then move it and then minus 90. all right and now i will delete half of it or a, li a little bit less than half of it because we don't need it so just the back part like this x faces and now we are left only with 176 for one eye Too much. I don't like this. But uh, maybe we can try to take this M and collapse. Yeah. It will not give us too much more faces, but let's leave it like this. Okay, we have it now. We have the the sphere for the eye. It's there. It will be one. The other one later. We'll see. Now. Let's go to the body and continue from where we started, which is this kind of hand. This one. Tab and continue from here. Of course, we have to go and check in front in these options here. Amazing. Okay. Now, here uh, our glove is not very thick, which means hmm, it means that uh, it's, it's a problem. By the way, I will take from here, press K and add an edge loop in here. Why? Because I want this front part, because it will be kind of visible, most likely, to kind of go exactly on the the borders here and this here let me see mm -hmm. i either will have to inflate the glove in here and i will do that 
I will inflate it so I don't have to do something else. So I will just press G and move this inward. Let's see. It doesn't look super nice, but let's go to scope mode, select it, and just very carefully do it. That's smooth when we have to and do it. But hopefully it will not be a problem because it looks a little bit strange. Some of the faces are messed up. Yeah, when we move uh, in in Blender, when we move the low poly and we have this, uh, the smooth resolution modifier, and then the high poly starts to act a little bit weird sometimes. Which we have to bear, bear in mind that this, this is the case. Just Blender stuff, you know. But it's not gonna make us hate Blender or something, no. It's fine, we love Blender. We love Blender, right? Yes, okay. Let's press Tab and continue with the mouse to work on our guy Blender Man. Okay, here I don't completely... Ah, I don't have snap. Okay, now I have snap and I can move it with G and place it into position, which is great. When we have snap, it's easier. Uh, at some point, it will be harder and harder to make everything. Because it will be. Because we will see the other parts behind and uh, the more we make, the more we'll see behind, which will be a problem, but we have to get over it. Uh, maybe there are some ways to it, apologize, and some add-ons which will help us with that. But I first don't really, I'm not very interested in that, since retopology by hand is for me uh, better than by hand. I'm just maybe old school. Or something. Uh, if you don't want to do it by hand, uh, just for, I told you, just for cleaner topology, you can always do it with the best tool for the task, which is the quadri mesher. There is another tool, I forgot the name by the way, and it's it's uh, it's kind of free in GitLab or whatever. But I forget it, and it's a little bit complicated because in order to retopologize, you have to go out of Blender, kind of. As long as I understand, I, I'm not sure exactly how it works, uh, to be honest. To be completely honest. Now, here I would want the polygons to be bigger. Although we are in the elbow edge region where we have to have some polygons, kind of more. But they should be bigger. Because here we don't have too much detail. And that's why I need my polygons here to be bigger. And because I want them to be bigger, I have to kind of do it. So, F. Then here I'll make a triangle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is kind of the elbow here area. And those triangles could pose a, a threat to our existence as humans. But hopefully, they will forgive me. Not the triangles, animators. The animators, I hope, uh, they'll forgive me because they're evil. I hope they don't watch this. But uh, they're evil and they want to destroy us. Yeah, maybe you, you don't know, but Hitler... He was an um, animator before he became a dictator. Putin also. So, yeah, everybody knows that. But I just want to remind you. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I just, uh, I just make it uh, a little bit more fun for myself, you know. It's just, you know, nobody should take offense, especially animators. I respect them a lot. Don't kill me, please. 
I don't deserve to die. I have kids. Not like that, please. Okay, uh, don't worry. Everything is fine. Everything is fine until I release this video because then all hell will break loose. Or not. Who knows? It depends. But uh, whatever. I hope if for I forgot again to ask our animator to join us in this journey and to tell me if this what I'm doing is very dangerous for my life also. It could be. It could be. And uh, we have to be careful. And I post uh, this, by the way, the, the head. I post it in the group. Um, in the Facebook group that I have. And one guy said, what amazing head uh, topology. I want to learn how to do this. But amazing head topology. It's not uh, exactly amazing. Uh, especially when you see me how I do it. How chaotic I do it. It's like, hmm. But at the end, it looks not bad. I mean, it doesn't look half bad. It's fine. So, it's it doesn't matter how you do it. You have to try um, two things. First, to think about the animators. And that's uh, that requires a little bit of experience. I'm, yeah, I'm aware of that. It's not like you can, you can know how to do those things. But the other is to try to make the most of the forms. So you have to be able to cover all the forms with polygons. The better. I mean, yeah, the best. The best coverage of polygons that you can make will be for your own good. Well, I'm making such mess here with those triangles. But they want, basically, a uh, a hair, kind of a hairs, on his elbow, which the animators should uh, say something about this. I mean, like, you know, they should say, uh, are you crazy? Hairs on the elbow. This will pose a little bit of an issue sometimes, maybe. But they didn't. They didn't say anything. So now they deserve what will come for them. Godzilla. No. Or maybe yes, I'm not sure. We'll see. So sometimes I'm glad that we are making those characters so low poly. Why? Because low poly is the best. Because um, otherwise, if they are higher poly, it should take us a long time to kind of go with all those polygons and now we have low polygons of course we have to think about each polygon where to put it but other than that it's fine extrude since this is the inner part of the the arm i would make smaller polygons in here or no i should make bigger polygons in here and smaller in here yes uh, because he will always bend the elbow and when they bend the elbow you know here it's compressed now the skin when i bent it it starts to spread so when he's like this the polygons has to be compressed has to be small and then when it makes this there has to be the normal size mm. but i will not do that because i'm not that intelligent yeah by the way our animators are as I told you, pretty, pretty good. So they can do almost everything from anything. They don't need um, super nice topology everywhere. They don't, they don't complain at all, at least not to me. Probably they are cursing a lot and uh, mentioning, as I told you, my relatives, like my mother mostly. But... I'm I'm hoping that it's it's kind of fine, but mostly they are fine with it. 
I noticed. Especially our lead animator, she's very good. I mean, she's artistic person. She used to be character artist, by the way. So she knows, kind of knows our struggles. Although, I, although she doesn't know ZBrush. She was character artist uh, in the era just before ZBrush come into play, I think. So she's not very familiar with... And Blender, of course, she doesn't know. Wow, these polygons here are amazingly bad. I'm just amazed how bad they are. Wow. Uh, but I think we... No, uh, what I will do is... Uh, let me show you. I will take this thing here. Put it like this. And then from here, we will start something that will surround this area with polygons and we'll have to also go from here rotate and this polygon I will delete for now and we'll continue from here uh, this is a little bit more polygonal I mean more polygons that I usually put on the arm because I'm, I told you I'm very I'm saving a lot of polygons I'm not putting a lot of polygons when I can not put a lot of polygons. I'm trying to save. I'm a saving person. Saving Private Ryan. This is me. Mm, no. Okay, let's try this. Uh, I think this could work. If the animators can make it work, it will work. If they, they can't, probably it won't work. Wow. What a thing, right? Yeah. So now, at some areas, we'll have to make, yeah, we'll have to make this basically like this. Maybe just like this will be fine. No, probably first like this and then like this. It will be a little bit too much in my opinion, but uh, let's be safe than sorry. Better be safe than sorry. Uh, here in, in the next part, I will do it like this. But before that, let's have it first this lip and then this i know it will be kind of a messy but we are okay hopefully yeah i i don't have the topology or the polygons to go around every little bump so i have to choose i have to choose the the bigger ones the ones that will matter although all polygons matter, if we have to be politically correct, of course. But um, in this case, we always have to choose, you know. And you see how unpolitically correct uh, all the Europe is now. Since when there was a war in Syria, when there was a war in Iraq, when there was a war and civilians were killed. Even more than they are killed now, or the same in Ukraine, we were like, ah, shit happens, really. But uh, now, when people are killed very close to us, they are basically on our border here. By the way, one uh, my country, uh, the closest part to Ukraine is just. 360 kilometers from Ukraine. Uh, so, even less. It, it's uh, to Odessa, is uh, one of their largest mm, marinas. Not marinas, but yeah. So, and we were like, <gasps> war? Oh, unthinkable. How is this possible? I mean, I realize that, but still, uh, it's pretty close to us. Probably when the war in Syria, for example, or Iraq, it was close to Turkey. <clears throat> Everything is close to Turkey, by the way. We are also close to Turkey. Whatever. It, we have a border with Turkey, which now is called Turkey or something like this. Yeah, they, they want to escape from 
the turkey, you know, the turkey element, because I, I think it's pronounced kind of the same, it was pronounced kind of, kind of the same as turkey, the, the food for for the day of the gratitude or whatever <laughs> in United States. I, I, I forgot how it was the name of this holiday in the United States, but since I'm not exactly close to United States, although we are all close to United States because we all watch the movies, we all play the games, and we are kind of close to this culture. We know the Easter, but we also have Easter, so... But it's not the same. It's not exactly the same. Uh, we call it the Day of Gratitude. Thank... Uh, thankful day... No. <laughs> oh, I cannot remember how this day was called. Thanksgiving, yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day. And the turkey, yeah. But they want to escape this. And they now are called a little bit different, I'm not sure exactly how. Turkey way or some, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the Turkish guy can say. By the way, uh, Turks don't exactly love, uh, most young Turks, of course, don't exactly love their leader. I've heard that he's a little bit like, a little bit like a dictator. Ah, no, not too much, but yeah. Because we've seen like, uh, what is too much of a dictator? You see Belarus, you see Russia, you see uh, North Korea, of course. You see those kind of, uh, most, most of the Russian states are like this. So yeah, amazing. By the way, Russians shouldn't hate me for what I'm saying because I don't kind of mix up Russia and Putin because for me they are not the same. What is good for Russia is uh, not good for Putin. Putin is the worst thing that happened uh, for... But whatever, yeah, well, let's not talk about this. It's... Too much politics. Too much politics will kill. Oh no! Sound. You have to be sound. Now, since not many people are watching these videos, I'm okay. Now, you see, with sweet talks and stuff, now we have done almost the whole arm, which is amazing. Now we have to go a little bit closer to the chain, and to start the chain at some point. Uh, which for me, it will be one of the worst things. And maybe those bottles also will be kind of bad because they have inner part and a, kind of a hole in here. Which is... Which is bad. Uh, it's late, I have to go to sleep probably. But I have to finish this video. So we have like 20 more minutes. And we will start the chain. So the chain making, making of the chain will be super chaotic. Super. It will be a chaos. But at the end, it it will have, I mean, it will be okay. I, I don't know how I do it. But most of the time, it's ultra chaotic. But at the end, it's fine. Hopefully this time will be the same. We'll see. Chaos. Misery. Okay, here or not. Let's try like this. And then like this. And let's finish uh, here and continue with the chain reaction. I will move this back a little bit, then press E here and start with the chain. It will be not just a chain, it will be pain in some areas, like the ass. Oh no, of course, I cannot say ass in front of the TV audience. Uh, 
I shouldn't say ass in front of such fine gentlemen as all of you, you know. It's just, uh, it makes me look bad. So I will not say it. Ass will not be said in this channel. You know. I have some uh, dignity, you know. Can't say that. You cannot say asses or just some other like cocks or whatever. It's not good to be said in uh, in YouTube. They can ban you for that, or at least ban your video, which is never good. So we have to be careful. What? So Control Z is not working, but now it. I was like, what is happening? Maybe YouTube is attacking me already. I don't know. Maybe. I hope not. But nobody can be sure when YouTube attacks you. Oh, amazing. This, this chain will be hell to make. And I will have to skip uh, kind of a steps because otherwise it will be real hell. But if I make it correctly, it will look pretty awesome at the end. It will look, people will say, but how did you retopologize this chain? Eh, how? With a lot of pain. The chain means pain, you know. That's absolutely normal. Chain equals pain. And also if I have, you know, uh, if I have enough polygons, let's say, to make everything, it will be fine, but most of the time I don't have it. So, again, pain or chain, who knows. Now here I have to decide where to go. Maybe I can inflate this chain a little bit more, but I inflated it enough times. I don't know what to do a little bit. Let me think. No, I will not. I will just continue and I will push through this and just you know, like, uh, push. I will go K. Add a polygon in here. It will help us. And yeah, it will become a little bit more polygonal than I want. Basically. But. If we don't have a choice. We just don't have a choice. That's it. I was thinking that uh, maybe this chain will take me a long, long time to do. It will be longer. It will be much longer than that. Than I anticipated. Here I can make a big polygon. Why? Because... Because I want. Yeah, I'm asking my daughter. Why are you doing this? Because I want. Oh, okay. That's a very good explanation of things. I will do a lot of triangles here, because without triangles it will be even harder, and I shouldn't restrain from doing triangles here, since this chain is kind of a hard object, and it could work. It should work like this, like a hard object, like hardcore object. So triangles should be absolutely nice, without any issues. F here. Wow, the chain. And especially when we start doing from the other side and stuff, it will be awful. Yeah, we have to disable in front and just start to do it like this. Maybe, uh, yeah, this is hell. I don't want to continue anymore. I want to go home. Yeah, probably there was a way. There is a way. Uh, we can add a shrink wrap modifier, for example, first, and uh, make it uh, make it wrap a little bit above the surface. This is one of one option. The people will always say, "Oh, you have the option to make the shrink wrap modifier go around the, uh, above the surface, and you can do it like this." I know, but I usually don't do this. Don't do it. Other option is to go and add solidify modifier and solidify it on the other side like this. But, but, 0 0.01 maybe. 
maybe 0.03 let's try and it will be a little bit above the surface and this could give us a, a little bit more idea where our polygons are probably i should work like this although i cannot see exactly what i'm doing which could be an issue yes i have to connect this guy with this guy yes so i have to change constantly between everything but well, this could work yeah i think this uh, this will work because otherwise you saw that it's impossible to work here we can make some issues we will make issues but uh, overall it will work A lot of polygons await us in this journey to become the greatest chain of all times. The greatest chain in the universe will be this chain. Oh, and uh, our head is starting to get in the way. Right. Thank you very much, head. I spent the time to do you. <laughs> to do you. It doesn't sound very good, but I spent the time and now you are paying me with this attitude. Sorry, uh, head, but um, it's not good. I don't like you. Uh, dear head, I don't think I like you anymore. You used to watch me shave. Now you're staring at the floor. Dear penis, I don't like you anymore. What? What did I say? Did I say penis? No, 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 no. That was a song, by the way, about the, you know. By the way, in this video, I said too much uh, bad stuff. Hopefully nobody reports me, because if you report me and this video gets removed, uh, people will kind of not know how dangerous it is to apologize a chain, which is never a good thing. So I think you should uh, kind of not do it. By the way, YouTube has algorithms, I think. But since my accent is a little bit thick, they probably don't get my the things that I say. Hopefully. And since, uh, by the way, uh, from Gameloft, they are... They're checking my videos to see what's inside and what I'm talking about and stuff. But this video is the video number 27 or, or 28, I'm not sure. And they probably won't be so, you know, they will not check it out that much. Which means I can do whatever I want. So exciting? Yes, it is. It is exciting. Okay, this looks uh, awful, uh, but uh, it's nice. It's nice. We will do it. No issues. I'm not able to see anything. I'm just kind of trying to imagine where the things are, where the wild things are. But I think we are on a very right path in here. And uh, we have done <laughs> up to this point with all this talking and stuff. We have done just... No more than two links. And we have four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> six times this. So yeah. A few videos about the chain. Uh, let people see my pain doing the chain. And but this is not the main. What is up? And what is there for gain? I will be a rapper. Maybe some other time. I'm not sure as a rapper, since I'm not exactly American or whatever. If as a rapper I will be more successful than a 3D artist. Probably I should be a 3D artist. Or YouTuber, maybe even. 
I can be a YouTuber. Can I be a YouTuber? Am I good enough? No, you're not. But why? Because your English is horrible. Ah. I know, yeah. Yes. I know it. My English is not the best. There was a time. My English was a little bit better because I was attending some courses, English classes, let's say. I was attending them. And now I'm not. So. Nowadays. Oh, I cannot select this and this. No. But I've selected them. And I don't know what's happening here. Okay, this is fine. I will control shift S save as 27 and continue a little bit more because we have uh, so much to to do. And by the way, I have done other chains before. Yeah, I, I admit it. Um, it's not a crime, but or is it? No, it's not. Or is no, it's not crime. Shut up. So, but uh, it's always pain in the ass. Let me say that. So, if you kind of have a freelance and they offer you a character with a chain, just say, uh, I will take the other one, the girl. I will take the girl with the, with the skirt or something. It will be much better for you. Don't take the chain. Chain will murder your will to, to work or to develop yourself or whatever it, it will just basically kill you the chain is is killing me right now i i don't know if i would want to wake up uh, tomorrow morning to start my day since i know i will have to do this chain at least two more videos probably maybe even more which will be just a killer Unless I find a kind of a right tempo, tempo, but uh, probably it's impossible. You just have to push, muscle push through this painful thing, the chain. Oh, what? Hmm. Let me see. Okay. And okay. Okay, and by the way, this chain, uh, the big issue is not uh, the retopology that much. Uh, yeah, the retopology is, is the biggest issue, by the way, but there is one more issue. The UV mapping of the chain. Mm, amazing. I just taste it on my, uh, on my mouth now. This, <sighs> this UV mapping of this chain. Yeah, and you probably will say, this guy Nico. He wasn't such a hater back then. Yeah, but you'd never see me uh, retopologizing. That's that's why you say that I wasn't that kind of hater. Because when I'm sculpting, I'm such a nice guy. I'm doing such a nice things. And you notice that in this video, since I'm retopologizing, I said so many uh, profanities. Not such much. <laughs> Not so many. But I've said a few. Yeah, I admit it. Uh, why? This is subconscious. Subconsciously, I don't like this uh, thing. I don't like to do retopology. And they make me. And I have to do it. Because this is my job. <laughs> so. Ah, difficult. There's a hole in here. And this is amazingly bad. I don't like this holes at all. So we will not do it. We will skip the hole. Yeah. It will be amazing if we could skip the hole. By the way, I think we can, if I inflate the whole thing, but I want subconsciously uh, to... I feel subconsciously that I have to be punished for something, probably. That's why I'm doing this and not inflating the chain. And since if I inflate the chain, it will change a little bit the appearance of the chain. That's why I'm also restraining myself of this action and reaction.
I don't know if you uh, kind of feel happy about my suffering now. Are you feeling happy? This chain will be amazing. Now, only this hand with the parts of the chain here is 1000 triangles, which is not much. Let me say it's not much. It's completely fine. So don't worry about it. But the chain is starting to look right, right? Yeah, because uh, of so much pain, <laughs> at some point, it will look right. It will look good. Uh, because we don't have any other choice. Because uh, if you don't know, the owner of Gameloft, of the studio that I'm working, is Putin. So he will make us do it. No, it's not. It's not. Happily, it's not. Well, <laughs> he's not the owner. If he was, I would be probably already dead. So it's uh, it's all right. Okay. So you cannot, you can't believe me. Whatever I say. Because sometimes I'm lying. I told you it was Putin, but it's not. So I may be lying for so, uh, about something else. I may be lying about everything. I may be lying to you that this is retopology. Maybe this is something completely different. How can you know? You don't. That's uh, that's a fact. Let me just close this whole thing here and I'm not sure what is happening in this area. There is probably a hole, yes. Let's close it like this. And let's close this hole. By the way, here we cannot close it like this because we have um, Kind of a high poly which we have to follow and if we just close these holes we will not be able to follow the high poly completely and we will mm, kind of not do our job and they pay us to do our job i know it's uh, very very difficult sometimes and i'm not happy about it but we have to do it. Come on. Okay, good. Uh, sometimes things happen. Sometimes not. Let me see what I can do now here. So, very, very often when I do a chain, this thing happens. I don't know exactly where I am and what to do. And But this is the, the, the basics of the chain making. Especially the chain... Uh, Retopology. Basics of chain retopology, if you don't know. It's amazing. And yeah, this is probably the single dif most difficult thing you can retopologize in your life. And I'm showing you this. So, after you see the whole retopologizing of the chain, and if you can endure this pain that will kind of uh, go through me to you, uh, then you will be able to do everything. Basically. So, yeah. B embrace the pain that I'm suffering and after the pain comes the pleasure, you know. When the pain stops, of course. If the pain stops, which is sometimes not the case. I even have to cut sometimes to be able to kind of fulfill, 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 fulfill. Play. I'm starting to get crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I, I I've started to get crazy in the beginning of this video, and now I'm just uh, very much restraining myself of uh, starting to to scream and run around the room. This is. Because of my very strong will. That's why I, I can restrain myself. It's Otherwise, I would be like... Uh, going around the room. 
which I can do, by the way, now when I finish this video. But we'll see. We'll see if I'm uh, in the mood. Because you have to be in a certain mood to do that. You cannot just do it. It's not. You have to be prepared. Amazing, amazing. Okay, uh, I think we have done kind of a one quarter of uh, around one quarter of the chain, which is great, amazing. We will continue in the next video. And I hope before that the atom bombs will kill me. But if they're not, we will see the next video. And uh, yeah. But don't worry, I told you, this is one of the worst things that you can uh, possibly retopologize in your life. Uh, because you, you saw that uh, fingers are kind of difficult, but not too much. Face is difficult, but it's okay. But the chain is a complete new grounds. I mean, it's amazingly bad, but um, yeah, it's mind boggling how difficult it is. But if you do it right, it will look pretty nice. And many, some people will ask me, but why don't you just retopologize each uh, segment? of the chain and just and I will say why not really it will take a little bit less probably geometry if I do it like this but if I do it like this it won't be that painful mm -hmm. and it won't be one piece with the with the whole body mm -hmm. All right. but it could be better We'll see. We'll see. Next time, maybe I will do it. Uh, maybe. By the way, I can use the chain itself for the low poly. We'll see. Maybe I will do it like this, and because this is awful, as you see. And then maybe I will do it uh, the other way, and we'll see. Uh, the, the problem is with the baking. For me. If I do it like this and then bake it, it will bake flawlessly. If I do it with separate objects and then I bake it, eh, probably it will bake flawlessly again. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, see you in the next video. This was this is one hour video, it's amazing. Bye.